Hello and welcome to another video by Game, by Game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey. Today we repeat another of my previous experiments. Last time I compared how easy it was to implement simple 2D character movement and animation in Godot and Unity. Today I'll be comparing Godot to Game Maker Studio 2 and Construct 3. I leave you to make up your own mind, but please comment below and share your opinions on which engine has the easiest workflow. I want to take a moment to say a big thank you for subscribing. I'm truly humbled that 200 of you enjoy my content so much. It's because of you that I continue to make videos. Every new subscriber encourages me to continue. So thank you. All right, first thing we're going to do is create a node and we'll just create an animated sprite node. Right, now we're going to go and add the sprite frames and we are going to drag our sprites in. This is the walking frames and we'll rename this walk. Create a new animation. We'll call it fly. And these are the flying frames. All right, now all we need to do is create a script. Let's rename this to player. script okay so here we go the process function is the main game loop and inside it we have the keyboard controls to move the player right left down and up below that we have a logical test to determine if the player is moving and if they are it plays the animation otherwise it stops it further down we have another test to determine if the player is moving on the horizontal axis if they are, we disable the vertical flip and only enable the horizontal flipping if they are moving to the left. When we detect vertical movement, we play the up animation and flip the sprite vertically only if we're moving downwards. And this is the finished product in Godot. In Game Maker Studio, let's start by matching the background color to the Godot background color that we had. Now let's right click and create a new sprite and let's rename it to idle. This will be our idle animation. Now let's import the image we want to use. Make sure to set the center of the image to middle center and set the FPS to five. Doesn't really matter for idle, but we're gonna be doing it for all. Let's create another sprite and load the images. Let's call this one walk. Remember to set the FPS to five and set the center of the sprites image to middle center. Okay, let's create another sprite and this one is going to be for our up animation let's rename it to up import our images again set the FPS to 5 and the center of the image should be middle center Now create a new object to represent the player and set the starting sprite for this object to our idle sprite. Let's add an event for the creation of this sprite which will ensure that the starting sprite is always idle. Add another event for when the right key is down. Set the sprite to our walk animation. 
set the frames to relative to ensure that they cycle correctly. Now I'll set the speed to 5, set the fixed direction to right, and set the instance scale to default. This controls the vertical and horizontal flipping of the image. Let's add an event for when the left arrow key is down. Again, set the sprite to our walk animation. But this time, we're going to set the instance scale to negative 1 on the horizontal, which will flip it. Let's set the speed to 5. And let's go ahead and test this. In order to test it, we'll have to add our player object to the room. And there we're getting good left and right movement, but he doesn't stop and return to idle. We need to fix that. Let's go ahead and create an event for when no keys are being pressed. Let's set the sprite to idle and we should also set the sprite's speed to zero. Now we have the movement we want. Now let's create the vertical movement that we need. So let us add an event for the up key. Let's set the sprite to up. Let's set the direction to up, set the speed to 5, and set the instance scale to default. Now let's create a key for down. Again, we're going to set the sprite to up. This time we'll set the instance scale to negative one on the vertical to make sure it flips. Again, we'll set the speed to five and set the direction to down. Now we test our game. Perfect movement, up and down left and right. In Construct, we start by matching the background color. So click on your layer, go to the Properties pane, and enter the RGB values for our particular color. Now, double click the layout and add a sprite. Import your images, and rename the animation to Idle. Now right click and create a new animation, rename it to walk, import the images for it. Right click again and create another Im animation called up. Again import the images for it. Now add an 8 direction movement behavior to the sprite. Add a keyboard object in the event sheet add a keyboard event for button pressed and select the right arrow now add an action to the sprite to set the animation to walk Now add a keyboard event for button pressed for the left arrow and add an action to play walk again. Also add an action to set the sprite to be mirrored. Make sure that the right animation is not mirrored. Let's test this. Let's 
working. Let's speed up his movement a little bit. Let's make sure that when no keys are pressed, the sprite returns to idle. So let's add a keyboard event for keys released and set the sprite's animation to idle. Now let's add keys for up and down. This time we will flip the sprite on the vertical axis. Now let's go ahead and test out our hard work. Perfect movement in all directions and animations plain. I was pleasantly surprised by the drag and drop system in Game Maker Studio. It was quite intuitive and it didn't feel cumbersome to me. Construct still makes things pretty easy though, and it was again the easiest engine for me to work out what to do. Perhaps it just aligns well with the way my brain works to solve problems. I love hearing your opinions though, so please leave some feedback below. Let's start a conversation. Once again, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.